Okay, before we get started on today's King James Version Bible Daily Devotional, let's have a word of prayer. Jesus, I love you, and I just praise you and thank you how you're blessing this ministry, how you're moving, how you're helping people's lives to be changed forever and be touched and be blessed and be just helped in their life all through you. Nothing to do with me. It's all through you, Jesus. I pray that you would help us all to take off more of man, put on more of you every day, and to leave here today knowing more about your word than when we came. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. Today's scripture is Hebrews 13.4. As always, all I use is the King James Version Bible. I shall lay out some KJV upon thee. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. The big thing nowadays is, and it's really sad, among Christians, I'm not even talking about the unsaved. <coughs> I'm talking about Christians. <coughs> Christians love to live together. They say that uh, they're living with their, with their friend, with their partner, with their whoever it is their roommate, and Christians, no people are supposed to be having any type of sex outside of the marriage bed period. And I know that people will say, well, we can cohabitate in the same house, nothing ever happens, we're playing with fire because that cannot continue on because there's always, always, always going to end up to have to be something sexual when you've got people of the opposite sex living together in the same place. I don't care what anybody says. Is proven over and over and over and over again to be the rule. And what does God say? God will judge whoremongers and adulterers. That that includes everyone who is having sex outside the marriage bed. Whether you're having sex pre-marriage, which is a fornication, that'd be the same as a whoremonger. Or whether you are married to someone and having sex with someone else, or vice versa. It's wrong. God made it where if you are going to be having sex you need to be having sex with the opposite sex, not men with men, women with women, because that is, those are sodomites, and God will judge you harshly as well. Sex is made with one for one man, one woman, forever, only in the marriage bed. So if you are in a situation outside of that, and you expect to be raptured when the rapture happens soon, take a good, hard look at your life and get this in order, because if you don't, You'll find yourself left behind, and worse than off, worse than that, if you happen to die in the terrible aftermath of the rapture, then you'll find yourself waking up in hell because you cannot go to heaven living in sexual sin. It doesn't work that way. If anyone does not know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, or if you've been saved in the past and you believe in once saved, always saved, the lie that teaches that once you're saved, all you have to do is just keep living your life and Jesus will take care of all your sin, it's baloney. I've got at least 250 scriptures that I've got saved in a Word document with commentary as well, all from the KJV. And I'll share with you if you want me to. Message me, I've shared with hundreds. It's not my word, it's not your word, it's God's word. And God's word says at least 250 times, if you do not repent of your sins after you're saved, you will not step foot into heaven, period. That's it. So you can pray this prayer with me as well to come back from your backslidden state before it's too late. So let's go ahead and have a word of prayer. Jesus, I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day and went back to heaven. Please forgive me of my sins. Clean my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a child of the King, a new creature in Christ. In your precious name I ask this. Amen. Get a King James Version Bible and read it daily. It will feed your spirit and soul the way you feed your body with food and water. Pray to Jesus every day. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk with you daily. Make sure you find a Christian church and get water baptized, dumped under water. If you were sprinkled baptized in the past, it does not count. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit, sanctified. You do this by praying, reading the Bible, living for Jesus. Take your KJV Bible to church. When the preacher speaks, make sure what he says matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out and find a new church. Lastly, very important, make sure you repent of everything you do now. Ask Jesus to forgive you with an honest heart, and he will. Let's make sure we're getting out there my friends, and just working for Jesus. we got to do it. we got to be out there night and day and just just pounding home the message to those who are lost, those who are backslidden, that Jesus Christ saves, that He is the only one that saves, that He is there for us. And we just got to do it. Time is short. we got to stop being lazy. we got to put on the full armor of God morning, noon, and night to be able to fight the battles with Satan. Because Satan's going to attack us all the time if we're truly living for Jesus Christ, the way the Bible says. Let's just be strong. Let's just be focused. 
to be true to God, true to Jesus. He did so much for us. Let's do all we can do, even though it's not much, to do His will. I love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you, and I hope to see you next time, Lord willing, on the next episode of the King James Version Bible Daily Devotional. Have a great day.